and put it right there. I should do that to the pumpkin too, right there. Then there's another dark green, greenish one behind here. I add a little orange to it. I don't want two exactly the same. It really helped in this painting, since it is a vignette, to have tinted my board with a warmer background color. It complements the color of the pumpkins and fall colors altogether. that orange one back here, nice bright one. There, that's the base color. Since the sun is coming from this side here, darker on this side, and the rips all run towards the stem, and they come from under here too. It's a funny, fun little composition, I think. This green one is dark green on top and gets, blends into the lighter green. To separate these two a little bit, and make them feel more three-dimensional, I gotta add some dark in between them. You wanna always set things down. You don't want them to look like they're floating. Now for the brightest green, for all the foliage, I mix yellow, cat yellow light, not just cat yellow, and a little bit of blue. And then I vary it all through this plant, this leaf, mess of leaves. A little darker, a little lighter. Try to copy shapes that I see there. Get right to the bright yellow. It'll mix with what's on the board here already. So. Sometimes you just use a straight color out of the tube and mix it with stuff you already got. For an example, right now I'm taking blue and adding it to the yellow I just put there. And by not brushing it out carefully all the way, you get so many different beautiful effects back to the yellow. There's a 